Look at this plethora of Ninja Foodie machines. Beautiful. Hi everybody, my name is Lisa and today on Pressure Crisp we're going to be answering a question. Which Ninja Foodie appliance should I buy? I've been getting a lot of comments on YouTube as well as the Facebook group page. Every few days that question is posted there. I have the Ninja Foodie. Do I need the Ninja Foodie grill? I have the Ninja Foodie grill. Do I need the Ninja Foodie? I can't answer this question for you. You have to answer this question yourself. I can give you my opinion and my advice on that question, but you need to do a couple things. You need to look at what you eat, what do you want to make in the future, also your budget. Ninja Foodi machines are a little bit more pricey than like Instant Pot or the generic brands that are out there. So sit down on paper, discuss it with your significant other. What do you make for your kids if you have a family? What do you want to make? I mean, do you want to get better at, at the indoor grilling? Do you want to do more soups and stews? You have to ask yourself these questions, but keep track of what you're making. It's almost like doing a budget. You want to keep track of your budget for a month. Look at what you eat for a month. I know that's a long time. At least do it for a few weeks. Keep track of what you eat. Do a little food diary. This is what I want to make or this is what we had. Do the food diary of what you make and then also do another list of what you want to make. I mean, do you do a lot of soups and stews? Do you do a lot of grilling? Just look at what you make. And I know during the winter and summer months, it's much different. Those are other questions you have to ask yourself. Right now I'm in uh, New York, so it's cold out. I'm not gonna grill. A lot of people do go outside and grill. I'm not gonna do it. It's just, I'm not gonna do it. Brrr. And I wanna go over like the differences between the Ninja Foodi and the Ninja Foodi grill. And I'll also toss in the, the Ninja Foodi 6.5 because we have the eight quart, the grill, and the 6.5. So let's cover the differences between the eight quart Ninja Foodi and the 6.5 quart Ninja Foodi. The main difference between these machines is the depth of the bowl. The eight quart is not wider, it's deeper. So you can actually fit in larger roasts if you want. You can do a whole turkey in there. You can do a whole roast. You can, it makes quite a bit of uh, beef broth. I did that the other day or chicken stock. If you are having a get together, it will make a large amount. You can fit a larger pot roast in there. Or if you're making stew, you can fit a lot more in there than you can in the 6.5. It's also with the depth, your heating source from the top is gonna to be further away from the food that's on the bottom. That's the main differences. If you guys wanna comment in the comment section to tell me the differences between the 6.5 and the eight quart, that doesn't include the deluxe. I don't have the deluxe yet. Ninja Kitchen, if you're listening, hit me up. Send one on over. Thank you. But the main difference, this is more of a conversation, the difference between the Ninja Foodi and the Ninja Foodi Grill. What the Ninja Foodi has that the grill does not have, the Ninja Foodi, you can pressure cook, you can steam, slow cook, and you can also sear, saute. Those are the main difference. I mean, this does have a broil button where this doesn't have a broil button. So that's a difference too, but broil means heat from the top. The Ninja Foodi is a broil machine because the heat only comes from the top. The Ninja Foodi has heat coming from the top as well as the bottom, depending on what feature you're using. Another difference between these two machines is the Ninja Foodi grill gets hotter. I, I think it goes up to 550 degrees. I'm pretty sure, I think I pressed all the buttons. This one doesn't go as high as the Ninja Foodi grill. So there's another difference. You can fit a larger roast in here than you can in the Ninja Foodi grill. The Ninja Foodi grill has the roasting pan, so the depth. That's all you have. Now the Ninja Foodi 8 quart. Look at the size of that bowl. Huge. It's a big bowl. Show you the difference between the bowls. It's the depth between the 8 quart and the 6.5 quart. But they all cook the same way. Circulated air. So there's no difference when it comes to the air crisp, bake, roast, and broil. They all do it the same way. There might be a fan differences in size. I don't know because I haven't taken it apart to compare fan size. Another 
subject to cover is budget. These Ninja Foodi machines are more expensive than Instant Pot or a generic brand or a different air fryer. You have to look at that as well. Everybody has a different budget. You have to decide on your own budget. Third thing, if you have an Instant Pot, I know Ninja Kitchen's gonna kill me for this, but I'm just, I'm giving an honest, I'm just trying to be honest. If you have an Instant Pot, maybe you wanna give the grill a go because the Instant Pot, the only difference between the Instant Pot or a generic machine is that the Ninja Foodi can air crisp, bake, roast, and broil. So if you have an Instant Pot, you can do your sides in your Instant Pot and do a protein in the grill. So you might wanna look at that. I say that a lot on the Facebook group page because it is, it is cheaper. You can pick up an Instant Pot much cheaper than you can pick up a Ninja Foodi. I'm just pointing everything out and being completely honest with you, you guys. I don't want to sell, I'm not here to sell you these machines. I'm just here to offer advice and what I, this is what I think. Can you leave some comments in the comment section of what you think, your opinion, everybody has an opinion and we're all open here. So give me your opinion on the differences between the Ninja Foodi and the Ninja Foodi grill. And let's have a conversation about this because a lot of people are on the fence about which machine to get and what would serve their needs. So we just provide like a pro and con and everybody has their opinion and everybody's entitled to their opinions and nobody get upset about somebody's opinion. Some people are pro grill, some people are pro ninja foodie. I'm pro both, I enjoy having both. It's easier for me to put dinner on the table. Oh see, now we should cover that subject. Yeah, it's, it's lovely having both machines. I can put the protein in the grill and do sides. I can do baked potatoes. I can do roasted veg. I can do roasted potatoes. I can do steamed broccoli, steam. It's wonderful. It's much easier than trying to do it in one machine. That's, once again, this is my personal opinion. I'm not too big of a fan of the 360 meals because the rice doesn't come out all the time. They don't always come out all the time, but that's, once again, that's my personal opinion. Other people have great success with the 360 meals, but I guess I don't have to do them any anymore because I have both machines. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, hit that notifications button. Check us, on the, check us out on the Facebook group page. There's a link in the video's description. Also on Instagram and Twitter, Twitter link in the video's description. And everybody, I appreciate you. Thank you.